Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Outdoors. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to sharpen broadheads. All right, so these are the broadheads that I've been using so far, and these are the Magnus Stinger broadheads. And I've already sharpened this one. As you can see, the bevel on it is really smooth and it looks real nice. And then I'll show you this one, which I have not sharpened yet. And see how the bevel is kind of kind of groovy. You can see those unsmooth edges there. So we're gonna fix that today by sharpening them. Okay, so before we actually get started on the sharpening process, you guys are gonna need a couple of things. So I'm gonna tell you about that. First of all, this sharpening jig is very useful with sharpening these specific broadheads. There are different kinds of sharpening jigs for every different kind of broadhead. And this one is the most helpful for these. This was super cheap, it was like 20 bucks. I'll link the website where I got it in the description below if you wanna check that out. Next, you're gonna need some Sharpies. I don't know, I hope one of these works. That's why there's two. Lastly, you guys are gonna need some sandpaper. I've got a lot here. I would just get some that are 320, ranging all the way up to 1500. Now what that'll do is you're gonna be moving up in grit every so often, and 1500 is basically just smooth. So it really gets the bevel to be really smooth and sharp. First, what we're gonna do is take the actual broadhead apart. So now the broadhead is taken apart, and as you can see on this one, there are two separate blades. This one we're gonna sharpen first, and these are called the bleeder blades. We'll do those after. So now that we've set our hardware aside, we can go ahead and take the blade, and what you're gonna do is put it right in here, just like that. And so, as you can see, the blade is just sticking out on one side. Step two, you're gonna get your sandpaper out. I'm starting with 320 grit. You can start pretty much anywhere under 500 is what I would say. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is get your jig and blade. You're gonna wanna just lay it down. And keep in mind, you haven't tightened this yet. This is still free moving in the jig. Make sure the blade is plumb with the sandpaper and then just kinda put, not a bunch of force, but just get the blade square with the sandpaper. Once you got it in place, you're gonna wanna tighten up that screw nice and tight so it doesn't come undone. So now that you've got your blade plumb with the sandpaper, you're gonna wanna get your Sharpie and just mark all along the bevel. And what the Sharpie does is it allows you to know whether or not you're plumb with the sandpaper. If you get to a point where you look at the blade and there's still some Sharpie on there, you might not be plumb with the sandpaper. You might be grinding on one edge too much and not enough on this edge. So it just helps you out a little bit. Next, you're just gonna wanna Take it right here, just rest it on the sandpaper, and you're not gonna wanna push very hard at all, just basically the weight of your hand should be plenty enough on the jig. And it's got these rollers here on both edges, so you can just roll it on the sandpaper. And you're gonna wanna keep count of how many times you go up and back to make sure the blade is even on both sides. So we're just gonna start. So I just did 10 down and backs and take a look at the bevel. As you can see, there's just a little bit of Sharpie left up on this end, but it is all gone on this end. So that means that we're grinding mostly towards the tip of the bevel and not as much on the back. Now we're gonna mark the other side and do the same thing. Oh, on this one, this looks a lot worse. Apparently it's grinding mostly either on the very tip of the bevel or right here on this edge actually. So this is kind of trial and error. So what you're gonna do, you can just adjust it a little bit. What I'm gonna do is loosen that up and slide the blade out. Now, I don't need to remark it, but I am gonna go back on the first side and do 10 more down and backs. As you can see guys, that cleaned it up nicely. There is no black left on this bevel. That's what you wanna see. Now we're gonna go and do it back on this side. And there you can see it cleaned it up better. There's still a little bit of black up here. So I'm gonna go and do maybe five more on each side just to keep it even. So that looks nice. Both sides are looking good. There's no black left. Now we're gonna move up in grit. So now we've got a piece of 800 grit. Same type of deal. We're gonna mark on the bevel and then we'll slide it down the sandpaper. On the 800, we got all of the bevel on both sides. That is perfect. So now we're moving up to the 1000 grit sandpaper and this, this is getting pretty smooth. 1000 grit sandpaper 
is extremely smooth. And guys, this can be a tedious process. You guys definitely don't wanna rush yourselves on this. Take your time, get it right. You don't want to mess up your broadheads. As we're moving up grits here, we're now at 1500, so this is getting pretty sharp. Another thing you guys can do to keep yourselves even is if you look straight down the bevel of the broadhead, if you look closely, if you've been grinding on one edge for too long, like this one, it might curve over just a little bit here at the tip or vice versa. If you've been grinding on this edge, it might curve over that way. Well, if you can't tell by looking, you might be able to just take your finger like this. And if you feel it catching on there, then it's probably curved over. But if it is smooth, then you're probably good. And guys, that is pretty much the whole process of sharpening your broadheads. Obviously, I've only sharpened just the one blade here. I'll have to go back and do the other side and the bleeder blades over here. But that's pretty much it. It's the same thing with the bleeder blades. You just put them in there, get them plumb, and sharpen away. Something that you guys can do to test the sharpness of your broadhead is just get a piece of paper. I'm gonna use a sticky note. What you're gonna do is just try slicing. And as you can see, that's a pretty clean slice. If it's sharp, it should just slice right through like that. If the blade isn't sharp, the paper will kind of buckle under itself. See how it's not not wanting to slice. That's what you want to look for when you're sharpening your blades. Just check, get a piece of paper. That's sharp. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. We got them super sharp and I hope you did too. So leave a comment down below, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.